What's up guys, a little 905 update. I haven't even watched the Wizards game tonight. Instead, I'm here as a cup half full kind of guy because I was at the 905 game as usual for the home games. Total bummer that the Raptors lose to a clutch game with the Wizards. Kuzma's been on fire lately in general, so that's a tough matchup. So I'm gonna stick to talking about some of the 905 news. I have the roster sheet from tonight's game from the 905. Super amazing game. I honestly thought I was watching semi-pro with like all the alley-oops in this game and the lobs. Rebound Tropics. There it is again. Clarence leaping and forcing the ball in a downward direction through the net off of a high arching pass. Oh, hold on. I'm just being told that this is called an alley oop. Yes, that is easier to say. It was lob central at the 905 tonight. Serious chemistry coming along between Ron Harper and Kyler Kelly. And I wanted to update this because there's a bit of speculation as to why Reggie Perry left the team with the trade. Because not only did they trade Reggie Perry to the Bulls farm system for RJ Nemhard, but Nemhard's not even on the roster sheet if you look. Now, I was speaking to my boy Andrew from the 905 and he was telling me that it doesn't even seem like the Raptors had any intention of even receiving RJ Nemhard. This was all about just moving Reggie to Chicago. It was all a move to do the Bulls a solid. They had Reggie on an E10 and he, they expect him to play for the Chicago Bulls. So they wanted him at Windy City so that he could go up and down easily just like we do with our guys at 905. So all the best to Reggie. It was a total pleasure watching Reggie play for two years. And I can tell you this, there are very few players that I've seen live who lock in the way Reggie's capable of locking in. He doesn't do it every game, but when he does it, he affects the game big time. Just needs to forget about arguing with referees and get back on defense. When he does it, he affects winning. Good luck to Reggie in Chicago. But that move opens up playing time for Coloco and Kyler Kelly at the 905. Coloco was getting frustrated. The Mad Ants, my former team in 2K, we're just putting him into pick and roll and switching him on to guards who are just driving on him. And you can see him getting frustrated when he get beat. The good news is he's not getting beat all the time and he can really move his feet. He just plays needs to play more on his toes instead of on his heels. And just like move on to the next play. If it doesn't work out, just try and sheepdog your man into the sidelines or into the help defender. He had tons of great moments where he defended guards successfully. He's doing a great job and his fouls were down tonight, which is nice. Just wanna run through a couple of the Raptors 905 that had big nights tonight. Wieskamp was on fire the whole game. Ron Harper Jr. was like a playmaker out there. So he had some good takes of his own, but he was setting up Coloco and Kyler Kelly for like major, major lobs and dunks. It was awesome. Really good stuff in the paint. Downton Jr. had another great game. Sterling Brown, great game. Daryl Morsell had a great game. Almost freaking broke his back on one play. It was scary, really crazy. Really clutch minutes in the third and fourth. Gabe Brown had some good, good minutes. Uh, Kyler Kelly, my favorite player tonight, for sure. Coloco's coming, Coloco's coming. In fact, his fourth quarter was really, really good. He was making good cuts. He was getting that little pocket pass and finishing in the paint. And those finishes were done with force. Chris Boucher would be proud. Dunk the ball. He had some good Eagles moments. He had some deflections. So really strong fourth quarter for Christian. Delano didn't even play. Ryan Hawkins always has good scrappy minutes. He played really well. Sterling Brown played really well. The Mad Ants have this player, Justin Anderson, who's super annoying. He got teched up. It should have been thrown out of the game for two techs tonight, but he only got one. There was a moment where uh, Jeremiah Tillman came on the court and did this to him. It was awesome. Works to the wing. Here's Sterling Brown again oh, looking for Tillman. Tillman fakes oh. the pass. Oh, he gets Anderson to fight and finishes with the roll. That was a pretty sweet moment. It was like total karma. I'm telling you, the 905 was awesome tonight and it uh, bodes well. If you're near Mississauga, you need to go to these 905 games, guys. We need to get in the playoffs. Fill the seats. It's a great time. So that's your straight goods for the 905, guys, especially as it goes for Reggie Perry. That's what the franchise was actually doing, and that's why they moved off of Reggie. It's not that they're moving off of him. It's that the Bulls are moving on to him, and we want the best for Reggie. Remember, it's all about the Larrys. I still got my toughness video coming out in regards to hit jobs. That'll come out next week. Hit the alarm bell, hit the subscribe, thumbs up, be well, peace. Yeah, it's me, Jackie Mo. Oh, give me that look. All right. Baby, who wants to love you sexy? Uh. Love you sexy. Baby, are you ready to lick the sexy? Uh. Lick the sexy.
This is Chef's Kiss Approved. Mwah! <laughs>